Welcome, in today's tutorial you're going to be learning how to design shear walls. So we have modeled this particular building to this extent. This is the 3D view. Please do watch our previous tutorials to know how we got all of these beams, columns and all of that. And let me click in a little bit. So in our previous tutorial we did some column edit whereby we inserted there's a different shape of column. There's a butterfly column and we also made a circular column also on this our 3d we made a circular column this is it so please do watch our previous tutorial on to know how we come about all of those columns and also subscribe to the channel now in today's tutorial i want to insert shear walls here at this point because it's building i want to insert a staircase and also i want to insert a lift shaft here so i'm putting at this point a lift and this point also a staircase so i want to include here a shear wall and also here a shear wall then we're going to run the design on it and you're going to see how it's going to come out so quickly so i'm going to go to my shear wall icon this is my shear wall which is written wall after column so i'm going to click on it shear wall properties is a shear wall properties that comes out so i want to include my shear wall so i have a label on it this is my shear wall this is my shear wall the the, the width of my shear wall so i want my shear wall to be 150 or oh, you can just make it 225 let's make it 225 because of the lift so let's make it 225 and this one also i want to make it 225 by 2 to 5 so by 2 to 50 so sorry 150 so i'm going to make it 2 to 5 by 150 then i'm going to click on this icon to centralize it now it's insured into two which is this is the middle part now i want to insert it so i'm going to go to my plan i'm going to click on my plan to be able to make it functional so watch our previous tutorial to know how we got this to make this functional on this so i'm going to click on this if i want this to be functional and i'm going to left click on this if i want to use this window so i'm going to go into my share wall on this grid i want to click on this pull away see as i pull away you see on the 3d there's a little rubber band following me so i'm going to drop it there the share wall is created so I'm going to make another one this way. Share wall is created and I want to make another one this way. So I'm going to come to this side also. I'm going to make one this way also. Now you see as I'm creating the, the wall, it is written 1W1. So this is on my first floor. So this is a wall this is first floor wall then this is two so this is i'm going to create this one this one is going to be this one is five so this one i'm going to create now it's going to be six so we have successfully created this particular shear wall on this uh, building because we want to use it so nest on it so i want this building now i can turn this off because i'm done using this by clicking this arrow so i'm going to turn it off now if you view your 3d here you're going to see a shear wall a shear wall that is created for the first floor now we have a hollow so i want to replicate what i've done here to this particular the second floor so i'm going to go to generate please do watch our previous tutorial to know how to generate because i'm not going to go through all of that so i'm going to just do it very quickly to be able to make this tutorial go on uh, very very smoothly so i'm going to go to this my first floor now if you want to create for all you're going to select all of the story by holding your shift key down i'm generating my source story to my targeted story so now i want to create only wall so i'm going to click on this beam uncheck this particular box uncheck i don't want slabs to go i don't want the loads i don't want openings i don't want reefs i don't want what slab strips so i just want only my particular walls and beams to go so columns are okay i don't want columns to go i just want really my walls to go 
and the beams so I am going to say okay I'm done I like it that way so I'm going to generate it now you see as I'm clicking my walls are beginning to go to the next floor now is this is our particular chair walls that we have generated now it says story story beams exist so cannot be generated now the beams exist so that's why it's not been created so but the shear walls that do not exist are created so you can see that it's created here so i'm going to click on this close button because i'm done creating it so now next we're going to do we're going to let me just make this uh I'll just play an animation for you so this is a shear wall that's created this is for our lift and this is for our staircase so this you can pause you can play do follow up previous tutorials so to know how to use all of these features and also subscribe to get more of our tutorials coming up so this i'm going to make analysis on this particular structure so i'm going to go to run i'm going to go to building analysis click on building analysis then I'm going to perform my I have chosen all of my materials tutorials series that we have been doing to as one of design share walls for you so these I'm going to go to analysis check on this button here I want beans columns I want to be reselected every so I'm going to click on start so the building is being designed So it's been designed analysis is coming up so when it's done we're gonna run analysis so when it's done now it's designing every story as it goes now it's reselecting also bars where they are not sufficient so it's gonna be done within uh, a few seconds and we're gonna read all of that and we're gonna move into our show world and we're gonna see what to do on a particular shear wall so i'm going to show you how the shear wall will look so i have run my analysis so this is my analysis so follow our previous tutorial on how to run building analysis on orion so when you're done i'm going to click on ok so i'm going to go to post analysis on my columns stroke walls i'm going to click on that i'm going to expand this by clicking on this maximize button so now i'm going to look for my shear wall that we have created so these are my walls now you can see shear wall these are my walls so i'm going to double click on it to bring up its design that you will see how the design is so this is the design now you can zoom in to see so these my bars here they are 12 millimeter so these bars all have been designed so i'm going to zoom out again this is my shear wall that has been designed so these are the links we can also maybe make some changes you want you can choose the pattern you want like i can choose my pattern so i want the pattern to look something like this or you can say no we don't want the pattern say so, okay let it be something like this so i can choose that and say okay now you can see the pattern changes i can go back choose a selected pattern that i want go back choose a selected part link pattern but i like this one so i'm going to stick with that okay so let that one be so i'm going to go to my design share you can calculate it if you want to but all is done so i have all properties and whatsoever i need on this particular you can do a necessity design if you want to now when you're done i'm going to say okay is a share wall so i'm going to go for all the checks there's a share wall so all is design so all is okay i'm gonna say okay now it goes that way down and down so on my show world i use 
the diameter T12 for this particular design so this is T12 that I'm using which is diameter 12 this is the area of the bar that has been used so I'm going to close that so I'm fine with that so if you want to sort you can just go sort list wall only if you want and say okay I want all to see only my walls now only the walls have been listed so you can just do a quick check on it so these are all the links properties and these are the bars in it so you can come to your detailed drawing you can now maybe export each that you want to export so I can just say okay I want all to be exported or I want story one let me just export all just export all I want a many number I want four in a row so I'm going to say export now it's going to launch AutoCAD so it's going to launch AutoCAD so it's launched AutoCAD if your computer is low please check on the description below to get a particular computer for yourself so this is my shear wall this is the design for my shear wall so this is my shear wall that we have designed so this is a section this is the reinforcement pattern so this is a section this is the plan and these are my columns that we have designed these are the circular columns that we have designed i'm still going to show you this particular circular column so these are the circular columns that we have designed in our orion also so i'm going to go back to orion so i'm going to click cancel because i'm done i'm going to close this now i'm going to close this because you're done you can do for beam or you can also watch our previous tutorial now i'm going to go to this my butterfly or let me use this my circular column to see the steel left click on it when it becomes highlighted i have blue grips all over now you're going to right click on it go down to the column reinforcement design now it brings this up so this is my column design for my particular circular column so we have about 10 of them brass rebars inside this particular circular column so these are the required these are the supplied so you can see the difference that this is adequate now you can also make some changes if you want to make some changes so the shear and all of that slender and every other thing so i'm done i'm fine with this so i'm okay so i'm going to click on okay you can close that so ryan is asking me now if i want to save so watch our previous tutorial to know how we got all of this setting so i'm going to so i'm going to say yes i'm going to save my particular drawing so this is my shear wall that we have designed i'm going to turn it to 3d so that you can see it very clearly so i'm going to play the animation i'm going to play animation for you so this anime move this away so this is my shear walls that we've designed for both circular column butterfly columns and all of that so watch our previous tutorial to know how to design foundations so you can go ahead design your foundation for this particular structure that is it guys on how to design shear walls on orion see you in our next tutorial